my golden child brother, set me up in a drug deal, and now I'm facing jail time. Hey Reddit, I don't really know how to start this because honestly, I never thought I'd be in a situation like this. I mean, who expects their own brother to betray them like this? But I'm here, and I need to get it out. Maybe it'll help me make sense of it all, or maybe someone else has been through something similar. I don't know. Anyway, here's what happened. I've always been close to my brother Jake. At least, I thought we were close. We grew up in a pretty normal family. Nothing too crazy. Our parents were decent, and we didn't have a lot of drama growing up. The only thing that was a little off was the way our parents treated Jake compared to me. He was the golden child, you know? The one who could do no wrong in their eyes. He was the smart one, the successful one, the one who was supposed to be the pride of the family. Meanwhile, I was always just… there. Don't get me wrong, I didn't hate him for it. I just figured that was the way it was, and I was fine doing my own thing. But as we got older, things started to shift. While Jake was busy following the path our parents wanted for him, getting into college, working his way up in some corporate job, I took a different route. I started my own business, and it took off. It wasn't easy, and there were definitely times where I struggled, but in the end, it worked out. I was doing better than I ever expected, and for the first time, I felt like I was really making something of myself. That's when things between me and Jake started to change. He wasn't happy for me, even though I thought he would be. Instead, he seemed distant, almost like he was pissed off that I was doing well. At first, I didn't want to believe it. I told myself I was imagining things, that he was just busy with his own life. But the more time passed, the clearer it became that something was wrong. He stopped coming around as much, and when he did, he always had this attitude, like he was annoyed by everything I said or did. I'd talk about my business, and he'd either ignore me, or make some snide comment about how lucky I was. It felt like he couldn't stand the fact that I had succeeded in a way he hadn't. But then, things went from bad to worse. About two months ago, I got a call from Jake out of the blue. He wanted to hang out, grab a drink, catch up. It seemed like he was trying to make amends, and I was happy to give it a shot. After all, he was my brother, and I missed how things used to be between us. We met up at a bar, had a few drinks, and honestly, it felt like old times. We laughed, talked about random stuff, and for the first time in a long time, it seemed like everything was normal again. But looking back, I can see now that he was just setting me up. <laughs> Towards the end of the night, Jake mentioned that he had a business opportunity for me. He said he knew some guys who were looking for investors and that it was a quick way to make some easy cash. He played it off like it wasn't a big deal, like it was just something to consider, and yeah, I should have been suspicious. But at the time, I was feeling good, and I figured Jake wouldn't lead me into anything shady. That's where I messed up. A week later, Jake called me again, saying the guys wanted to meet. I went with him, thinking it was some kind of legit investment deal, but when I got there, everything felt… off. The guys he introduced me to were sketchy as hell, rough looking, with a lot of attitude. They started talking about buying and selling product, and that's when I realized they weren't talking about any kind of legit business. They were drug dealers. I froze. I didn't want any part of this, and I told Jake that straight up, but he acted like I was overreacting. It's no big deal, he said. They just need someone to help move some stuff around. You won't even be involved directly. I don't know why I didn't just leave right then and there, but I guess I didn't want to cause a scene. I figured I'd just let Jake finish his conversation, and we'd get the hell out of there. But as soon as I started backing away, Jake handed me a small bag, like it was nothing. Hold this for a second, he said. Before I could even react, the door burst open and the cops came storming in. I don't remember much about what happened after that. It all happened so fast. One minute, I'm standing there with this stupid bag in my hand, and the next, I'm being slammed onto the ground, handcuffed, and read my rights. I tried to explain that it wasn't mine, that I had no idea what was going on, but no one was listening. The cops were more concerned with the fact that I had been caught holding drugs, and to make matters worse, Jake was nowhere to be found. He had disappeared the second the cops showed up. It didn't take long for the pieces to fall into place. Jake had set me up. He had lured me into that deal, knowing full well what was going to happen. He had handed me the drugs, called the cops, and bailed as soon as they arrived. And now, I'm the one facing jail time. I still can't believe it. My own brother, my flesh and blood, did this to me. And for what? Because he couldn't stand that I was doing better than him? Because he wanted to watch me fail? I don't know. I don't understand how anyone, let alone my brother, could be so cruel. 
Now, I'm stuck fighting a drug charge that I had nothing to do with. I've got a lawyer, but it's not looking good. The evidence is stacked against me, and even though I've tried to tell everyone what really happened, no one believes me. They all think I'm just trying to pin it on someone else. After all, who would believe that your own brother would set you up like this? I've tried reaching out to Jake, but he's been avoiding me. He won't answer my calls, won't talk to me, won't even look me in the eye when I see him at family gatherings. My parents don't know the full story yet, and I'm honestly not sure how to tell them. How do you explain to your mom and dad that their golden child tried to ruin your life? I've spent the last few weeks trying to wrap my head around everything that's happened. I still don't get it. How could Jake do this to me? We grew up together, went through everything together, and now he's the reason I might end up in prison. The worst part? My parents still don't know the truth. I've been trying to figure out how to tell them, but every time I start to, I just can't get the words out. I know how much they love Jake, how proud they've always been of him. It's like he can do no wrong in their eyes, and I know this is going to destroy them but I can't keep this to myself forever. They deserve to know what their perfect son did. Hey. I've tried to confront Jake about it, but he's still dodging me. I've called him, texted him, even gone to his place, but every time he finds some way to avoid me, it's like he's pretending I don't exist. He's acting like nothing happened, like he didn't just throw my entire life into chaos. I don't know if he feels guilty or if he's just that heartless, but either way, I'm left holding the bag, literally. The court date is coming up soon, and my lawyer keeps telling me that I need to be prepared for the worst. The evidence against me is strong, and even though I wasn't involved in the drug deal, I was caught holding the drugs, that's all the cops care about. My lawyer has been trying to track down witnesses or anything that could prove I was set up, but so far, nothing's come up. I finally decided to sit down with my parents and tell them everything. I couldn't keep this from them any longer, even though I knew it was going to break their hearts. They needed to know the truth about Jake and what he had done. When I told them, the room went dead silent. My mom just stared at me, like she couldn't process what I was saying. My dad, on the other hand, got angry. Not at Jake. No, of course not. He was mad at me. Why are you trying to drag your brother into this? He said, his voice low and full of disappointment. You've never been one to take responsibility, have you? Always looking for someone else to blame. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. My own father thought I was lying. I had just told them that Jake set me up, that he had handed me the drugs and called the cops, and my dad's response was to accuse me of making it up. Dad, I swear I'm telling the truth, I said, my voice shaking. Jake set me up. He's the one who... Stop, my mom interrupted, tears in her eyes. Just stop. I can't listen to this. I didn't know what to say. My parents had always been blind when it came to Jake. But this, this was something else. They couldn't even consider the possibility that their precious golden child had done something wrong. Instead, they were willing to believe that I was the problem, that I was trying to ruin Jake's life just to save my own skin. But that's the thing. I'm not trying to ruin his life. He already ruined mine. After that conversation, things between me and my parents got even worse. They barely talk to me now, and when they do, it's always awkward and tense. They don't come right out and say it, but I can tell they don't believe me. They still think Jake is the perfect son, and they've convinced themselves that I'm the one who messed up. Jake, of course, is still avoiding me. I've sent him more messages, called him more times than I can count, but he's completely ghosted me. He won't face me, won't admit what he did. He's just letting me take the fall while he gets to go on living his perfect life. And that I don't know what to do anymore. I feel like I'm losing my family, my freedom, everything. And the worst part is, I don't even know why Jake did this. Was he jealous? Angry? Did he just want to watch me fail? I've been going over it in my head, trying to figure out what I did to make him hate me this much. But I'm coming up with nothing. I thought we were brothers. I thought we had each other's backs. But clearly, I was wrong. Now, I'm just trying to figure out how to survive this. The court date is getting closer, and I'm running out of options. My lawyer is doing everything she can, but even she's admitted that things don't look good. The charges are serious, and with the evidence stacked against me, it's going to be an uphill battle to prove my innocence. The scariest part is that I don't know what's going to happen. I could end up in jail for something I didn't do, something Jake set me up for. And the worst part? I don't think he even cares. He's probably sitting at home right now, living his life, not giving a second thought to the fact that his brother is facing years behind bars because of him. 
I keep replaying that night in my head, trying to figure out where I went wrong. Should I have known something was up when Jake invited me out for drinks? Should I have seen through his act when he handed me the bag? I don't know. I keep thinking about all the little signs I missed, and it's driving me crazy. I don't know how I didn't see it coming, but I guess that's the thing about betrayal. It hits you when you least expect it, and it always comes from the people you thought you could trust the most. So, after that disaster of a conversation with my parents, I realize something. No one's coming to save me. Not my family, not my brother, no one. I'm on my own, and honestly, that's a scary thought. I mean, when did it get this bad? How did I go from running my business and being happy with my life to sitting here, facing jail time for something I didn't even do? I keep thinking about Jake and what his game plan is. Is he just going to let me take the fall? Like, really? We're brothers, man. We've been through everything together. It doesn't make sense, but maybe that's the point. It doesn't have to make sense to me. Jake's always been the golden child, like I said before. He's always been the one our parents praised, the one they expected to go far in life. And here I was, doing better than him, and that must have eaten him up inside. I guess I just never realized how deep that jealousy ran. It's like, you think you know someone, especially your own family, but then they go and do something like this, and it's like you're meeting a stranger. The more I think about it, the more I start to realize that Jake's been quietly resenting me for a long time. I guess it was just a matter of time before he snapped. The other day, I had to meet with my lawyer again, and she's been pretty blunt with me. Look, she said, it's not looking great. The evidence they have against you is strong, and unless we can get Jake to confess or find a way to prove that you were set up, it's going to be tough. And that's the thing. I know I was set up. You know I was set up. But the system doesn't care about what I know. They care about evidence, and right now the evidence points straight at me. So I asked my lawyer what my options were, and she mentioned something I wasn't expecting. Plea deals. I didn't even think that was something I'd have to consider, but she said it's an option if I don't want to risk a full trial. She's saying I could take a deal, plead guilty to a lesser charge, and maybe avoid jail time altogether, or at least reduce it. But here's the thing, I'm not guilty. I didn't do this, and the idea of pleading guilty to something Jake set me up for makes my blood boil. Why should I take the fall for his mess? Why should I have to carry the weight of his jealousy and lies? I don't know, part of me just wants this whole thing to be over, but another part of me doesn't want to let Jake win. I don't want to give him the satisfaction of watching me go down for something I didn't do while he walks away scot-free. The more I think about it, the angrier I get. Like, seriously, who does this? Who sets up their own brother to take the fall for a crime they didn't commit? I've been replaying that night over and over in my head, thinking about every little detail, trying to figure out how I didn't see it coming. But that's the thing about betrayal. It hits you when you least expect it. And I guess that's what hurts the most. Jake knew exactly what he was doing. He planned this. He made sure I was in the wrong place at the wrong time and then he called the cops to make sure I got caught. It's almost impressive how cold and calculated it was. Almost. But here's where things get even crazier. My parents are still pretending like nothing happened. They're still treating Jake like the perfect son, like he didn't just try to ruin my life. I guess they've convinced themselves that I'm lying, that I'm just trying to drag him down with me because I'm desperate. And honestly, that hurts more than anything. I don't know what I expected, Maybe I thought they'd believe me because I'm their son and they're supposed to trust me. But no, they've chosen Jake's side, and now I'm just the problem child, the one who's messing up the family dynamic. I've been staying away from my family for the most part. I can't stand to be around them right now, and it's not like they've made much of an effort to reach out to me either. I think they're hoping this will all blow over, that somehow everything will go back to normal, but there's no going back from this, not for me anyway. My lawyer said we still have a few more weeks before the court date, so I'm trying to figure out what my next move is. I could try to get Jake to confess, but honestly, I don't see that happening. He's gone radio silent on me, and I doubt he's going to suddenly grow a conscience and admit what he did. So, I'm stuck. Do I take the plea deal and try to move on with my life, or do I fight this and risk going to jail for something I didn't do? It's not exactly an easy decision, and the more I think about it, the more I feel like I'm trapped in a nightmare that I can't wake up from. I guess the only silver lining in all of this is that I've started to see things a little clearer. I've realized that family isn't always what you think it is. Sometimes, the people you trust the most are the ones who will turn on you when you least expect it. And as much as that sucks, it's the reality I'm living in now. Jake may have been the golden child growing up, but now, 
he's just a coward. He couldn't handle the fact that I was doing better than him, so he took the easy way out and set me up. But no matter what happens, I'm not going to let him win. I'm going to figure out a way to fight this, even if it's the hardest thing I've ever done. Because at the end of the day, I'm not the one who should be paying for Jake's mistakes. He is. Alright, so, after sitting with everything for a while, I decided there was no way I was taking the plea deal. I mean, why should I admit to something I didn't do? Why should I let Jake get away with this? It just didn't sit right with me. The whole thing makes me feel like I'm stuck in a bad dream that I can't escape, but if I roll over now, I'll be stuck living with that guilt forever. I had another meeting with my lawyer, and we talked about what our game plan was for the trial. She said we'd need to poke holes in the prosecution's case, show that there's no way I could have been involved in the deal. She also said we need to find a way to link this back to Jake, but without any hard evidence or witnesses, it's gonna be tough. Of course, I already knew that. Nothing about this situation has been easy. Meanwhile, my parents, they're still treating Jake like he's a saint. It's like they refuse to see what's right in front of them. They're pretending like this whole thing is just one big misunderstanding, like I somehow got myself into this mess, and Jake is completely innocent. The favoritism has always been there, but it's never been this obvious. It's infuriating. They won't even hear me out anymore. Every time I try to bring it up, they change the subject or tell me I'm overreacting. It's like they've already made up their minds that I'm the problem, and there's no changing it. Jake, though, he's still silent. Not a word from him. No apologies, no explanations, nothing. I don't know if he's hiding because he feels guilty or if he's just happy to watch me go down while he stays clean. Honestly, I'm starting to think he doesn't even care. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. The worst part is that I'm not just dealing with legal trouble. This whole mess has made everything else in my life fall apart too. My business has taken a hit because I've had to step away to deal with this and my personal relationships are strained. Everyone knows something's going on, but no one really knows the full story. And I don't exactly feel like explaining that my own brother is the reason I might go to jail. It's embarrassing, honestly. How do you even tell people something like that? How do you explain that the person who's supposed to have your back is the one who's stabbing you in it? I've been thinking a lot about how things used to be back when Jake and I were actually close. We used to do everything together. As kids, we were inseparable. I looked up to him, you know? He was the big brother who always had my back, but somewhere along the way, things changed. Maybe it was when I started doing well in my business, or maybe it was even before that, and I just didn't notice. But now, it's like we're strangers, worse than strangers actually, enemies. I never thought it would come to this. I mean, who expects their own brother to set them up? But here we are, and now I have to figure out how to fight my way out of this mess. The trial is coming up soon, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. My lawyer is doing her best, but the fact is, the evidence against me is strong, and unless we can prove Jake's involvement, I'm in trouble. I know I didn't do anything wrong, but that doesn't seem to matter when the system's already decided you're guilty. I've been trying to mentally prepare myself for the worst case scenario, but every time I think about it, it feels like my whole world is crumbling. Jail time for something I didn't do? How do you? Even wrap your head around that. It's like everything I've worked for, everything I've built, could be taken away in an instant because of Jake's jealousy. And for what? So he can feel better about himself? So he can keep being the golden child in our parents' eyes? It's sick. I guess at this point, I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. There's still a part of me that hopes Jake will come clean, that he'll admit what he did before things get any worse. But honestly, I'm not holding my breath. I don't think he has it in him. He's too far gone too focused on saving himself to care about what happens to me. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm angry, I'm confused, and I feel completely betrayed by the one person I thought I could trust. But more than anything, I'm just trying to figure out how to survive this. I don't know what's going to happen when I walk into that courtroom, but I do know one thing. I'm not going down without a fight. Jake may have set me up, but I'm not going to let him win. Not if I can help it. Alright, so here we are. The court date came up quicker than I expected, and let me tell you, walking into that courtroom was one of the hardest things I've ever done. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation like that, but it's like this weird mix of dread and disbelief. Part of me still couldn't accept that I was really about to face jail time because of my own brother's betrayal. My lawyer was calm though. She had everything prepared, and we had gone over the case a million times. The only thing left was to actually face it. 
Jake, of course, was nowhere to be seen. I guess I wasn't really surprised, but there was still a small part of me that hoped he'd show up. Maybe confess or at least say something to defend me. But nope, he didn't. He just left me hanging, like he always does. The trial itself was a blur. The prosecution laid out their case, and honestly, it was hard to listen to. Hearing them describe me like I was some kind of criminal when I hadn't done anything wrong. It was brutal. Every piece of evidence they presented felt like another nail in the coffin. My lawyer fought back, of course. She did everything she could to cast doubt on the charges and show that I had no involvement in the drug deal. She even tried to hint that Jake might have been involved, but without any solid proof, it didn't really land. It was all just, he said, she said, and in a court of law, that's not enough. I kept looking around the courtroom, hoping maybe someone, anyone, would speak up for me, but my parents were sitting there in silence. They didn't say a word. They didn't even look at me half the time. I guess they had already made up their minds that I was guilty. It was like a punch to the gut. I mean, I knew they were still stuck on the whole, Jake is the perfect son thing, but I thought at least when push came to shove, they'd be there for me. But no. They just sat there, watching everything fall apart, and did nothing. Then came the verdict. My heart was pounding so hard, I could barely hear what the judge was saying at first. But when I finally caught the words, it felt like the floor dropped out from under me. Guilty. I'm not going to lie. I thought I was going to pass out. Hearing that word, knowing that my fate was sealed, it was like a nightmare come to life. I didn't even know what to do. I felt like I was trapped in some surreal version of my own life, where nothing made sense and everything was upside down. Jake had won, he'd set me up and now I was the one paying the price for his jealousy, I couldn't believe it. After the trial, I was taken into custody. My lawyer tried to console me, telling me we could appeal the decision, that this wasn't over yet. But at that moment, it felt over. I felt defeated, like everything I had worked for, everything I had built, was gone. The hardest part was saying goodbye to the life I knew, knowing that Jake was out there, living his life, probably celebrating the fact that he got away with it, while I was stuck facing time behind bars. The anger, the betrayal, the confusion, it all hit me at once. But what hit me even harder was my parents. They didn't even try to reach out to me after the trial. They just left, like I didn't even exist anymore. I don't know if they'll ever come around, but at this point, I'm done hoping for it. I can't keep waiting for people who don't care. Now, I'm sitting here, waiting for the next chapter of this nightmare to unfold. I'm angry, I'm hurt, and I'm still trying to figure out how the hell this happened. How did I end up here, facing jail time for something I didn't do? And how could Jake do this to me? How could my own brother, my own flesh and blood throw me under the bus like this? I guess I'll never really know the answers to those questions, but one thing I do know is that I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm going to keep fighting, keep pushing back, because I refuse to let Jake have the last word. I refuse to let him win. I'm going to appeal the decision. I'm going to keep fighting until the truth comes out, no matter how long it takes. I don't care if it takes months or years, I'm not giving up. Because at the end of the day, I know I didn't do this, I know I was set up, and as long as I know that, I can keep going, I can keep pushing forward, even when it feels like the whole world is against me. So yeah, that's my story. I never thought I'd be the guy sitting here, writing about how his own brother set him up for a drug deal, but here we are. Life's weird like that I guess, but one thing's for sure, 